Hey guys, I'm back for another video. I'm about to show you my uh, my collection of 80 slashers. It was uh, asked for by Andrew Ballina. He's a really cool guy. If you don't watch his channel, definitely go watch it. He's an awesome dude. He knows his movies. has a great collection. So, you should go totally subscribe to him. He's awesome. Uh, so, I don't have too much time, so let's just go ahead and get into this. First, we have Slaughter High. This is really cool. It's really cheesy, but awesome. It's one of my favorites. We also have House on Sorority Row. This is a really good one. It kind of started the whole I Know What You Did last summer revenge type story. Next is uh, Terror Train. Terror Train's really cool. It's like a sorority is, is, is on this train for a Halloween party and the killer changes costumes every time he kills. I really like it. Next, American Gothic. I don't hear too many people talk about this one. I really enjoy it. I think it's awesome. Something about a middle-aged woman dressed up in a girl's dress is really unsettling to me. Next is The Prowler. The Prowler is a really good one. Um, it's probably one of my favorite slashers. It's really underrated. Has great gore effects. Tom Savini's probably best. It's probably his best work, in my opinion. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, next is Slumber Party Massacre. Um, this is a good one. It's really cheesy, of course. It's, it's all just a bunch of fun. It's definitely worth a watch. Next is Mutilator. The, the Mutilator, um, the story is really shallow, characters are shallow, but you watch it for the gore. You watch it for the kills. They have awesome kills. Just a fun movie. You gotta check this one out. Next we have The Burning. The Burning is definitely an awesome movie. You have to watch this one if you're a fan of campy slashers. Probably one of the best campy slashers in my opinion. Sometimes I even prefer this one to Friday the 13th. Next we have My Bloody Valentine. This is a really good one. Um, some of the scenes down in like the mines are really creepy. It's awesome. Some great gore effects too for a low budget film. Next we have Madman. Another campy slasher. Really fun, you know. Basically, the, a legend of this Madman Mars. If you say his name too loud, he'll come out and kill. And of course, you know, some shithead kid says his name. And come back. That's a fun one. Now this one is for Prom Night 3. I really enjoyed Prom Night 3. Um, it has a slasher feel to it, but it's kind of a ghost story like Prom Night 2 was. I wasn't a big fan of Prom Night 2, but Prom Night 3 is definitely worth a watch. And of course, the original Prom Night. It's one of my favorites. It's one that I've loved since I was a kid. Um, you gotta watch this one. It's a classic. Next is one that I don't hear many people talk about at all, really. It's Cheerleader Camp. Cheerleader Camp is fun. It's about these this cheer team that goes to like a competition or like some kind of camp or something like that and people get killed one by one as a who done it. Really cool ending. I liked it a lot. Next is Happy Birthday to Me. The ending's kinda iffy. They're starting to grow on me some, but I mean it's a good movie. Next is April Fool's Day. I like this one. Um, at first, I didn't like the ending to it, but it started to grow on me some. I really enjoy it. It's a pretty fun movie. Next is Dark Knight of Scarecrow. For a made-for-TV movie, this movie is awesome. I didn't expect much going into it, but this movie is great. You have to check this out. It's just awesome. It's one of my favorites. Another made-for-TV movie is Clown House. And yes, it's the MGM release official. This is a good one. Um, it's really suspenseful. It's really good for a TV movie. I, I really enjoy this one. Uh, next we have Final Exam. This is pretty much a really big copy of Halloween. Like you can just tell how they uh, use lighting and stuff to like form the shape type figure and uh, the music. But it's, it's still a fun movie. Next is The Fun House. Funhouse is cool. It's Toby Hooper. You know, kids decide to stay in a carnival overnight. Really good time. 
Next we have Killer Party. This is re really unconventional. It's pretty unique for a slasher from the 80s. There's not too many like it. Um, it's a pretty cool ending. I enjoyed it. I like it. Um, next is The Boogeyman. I'm not a fan of this. I thought it sucked. Next is The Dorm That Drip Blood. The Dorm That Drip Blood. That's a pretty cool one, actually. It's about these kids who stay in, like, a dorm to clean it up over a, a Christmas break, and they get killed off one by one. Pretty interesting ending. Next, we have the Sleeper. This was made in 2012, actually, but if no one told me if I didn't know, then I definitely would assume it was made in 1980. The, the atmosphere in this one is amazing. It's really good for a new slasher. I, like, I really enjoy it. Next, we have Motel Hell. Motel Hell's pretty cool. You gotta love Farmer Vincent. I, I think most people know this movie. Um, next up, Stage Fright. I didn't know whether to put this into a, these two in Giallo or not, but I put them in Slasher anyway. This one's pretty cool. It's about like a creature that lives in this house that these people just moved into, starts killing people, it's really awesome. And stage Fright, it's just a good one. Um, mental patient escapes and runs into this theater where they're practicing to play. Next is Just Before Dawn. I didn't really like this one all that much. I mean, it was okay. I've been meaning to give it a second watch, but just haven't gotten around to it. It's like a really early version of, like, Wrong Turn or something like that, but you should probably check it out if you're a Slasher fan. I didn't like it, but you might. Next we have Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit. These three movies are fantastic. The first one has a classic ending, and you probably know how it ends, but if you don't, I'm not going to say it's awesome. But the next two are really good too. They don't get much credit, but I really enjoyed both of the other sequels. And then this sequel came out not too long ago. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Like it could have been a lot worse, but I actually had a good time watching it, so. Next we have the Stepfathers. I don't hear many people talk about these at all, and I think that these movies are great. Um, it's some of my favorite slashers. I love the concept of it. Terry O'Quinn does a great job in the first two, but they get somebody new for the third one. And the third one's okay. It's not that great, but it's good for a third sequel. And uh, you should definitely check these these two out for sure. They're awesome. Some of my favorites. Next up is one of my favorite slashers ever, and that is Intruder. Intruder is just amazing. It's like comedic and like still fucking cool. Um, they have a way of making you laugh while still keeping the story really serious. It's just awesome. It's one of my favorites. Next up is Titan Go Shriek. A bunch of kids in an old furniture store. Getting killed off one by one. I really like this one. Um, Blood Diner. Blood Diner's pretty cool. Kind of weird at first. Well, it's really weird throughout the whole movie, but definitely worth a watch. Um, next up is Curtains. This movie's awesome. It doesn't get any credit, but that's definitely worth a watch. You should really check out Curtains. Um, there's one scene in it that's like an old hag mask. It's just phenomenal. It's really creepy. Next is uh, New Year's Evil. It's a pretty good one. Pretty unique. I think it's really underrated, but you should, pretty, you should probably check it out if you like slashers. I really enjoy it. Uh, next is Silent Night, Deadly Night. You know, the, my favorite Christmas movie. Um... It's just fun. Cheesy, but fun. And last we have Hell Knight. Linda Blair. It's really cool. Kind of creepy, actually. Um, and yeah. That's my collection. Sorry I had to speed through it. I have some stuff I have to do. I just thought I might make a quick video for Andrew. So that's my collection. Subscribe if you like it. Thanks. Next time.